So what is going on everybody? I'm your host Aimba Allstar bringing you guys another video on my channel and today I just wanted to give you guys a little explanation on where I've been. I've been gone for about four months, haven't uploaded since then and I wanted to give you guys an explanation on where I've been, what I've been doing and what I plan on doing in the future for YouTube and streaming and just overall gaming. So without further ado you guys, please do enjoy this pretty shitty DM deathmatch gameplay of CSGO in the background. Um, I will be explaining that. I haven't really played in like uh, two months because I've been upgrading my PC. There's been a lot of things that have been going wrong with me upgrading it and I don't know why, but I'll get into more about that later. Anyway, if we could smash that like button and reach five likes on this video, it would really mean a lot to me, you guys, in the comeback. I will be trying to make three to five videos a week this time, and now that I actually have my PC fully upgraded except for my GPU, I will definitely, definitely be able to make that goal happen from now on. So without further ado, you guys, kick back, relax, and enjoy this four minute commentary on where I've been. So you guys recently, I mean, uh, last video I made, I'm pretty sure I told you guys that I was actually um, trying to upgrade my PC and I said it was going to be $750. It's obviously more than that now. It's like $1,000. It'd be $1,400 if I upgraded my GPU, but I couldn't. I had an old GTX 680 that Micro Center gave for free with the computer we bought downstairs from my parents. And um, it, something's wrong with that. I don't know what's wrong with it, but there's something definitely wrong with it. I think there's something wrong with the heating or cooling in it. And I also think that the thermal paste got on some of the GPU pins itself so I don't know why but like I said it was just the card itself was thrown in the bag and given to us so you know I can't really complain in that aspect I'm gonna try to see if I can get it fixed because it's a beast ass card And when I say beast as card, I mean compared to my old card, which is the AMD XFX uh, Dual Fan 6870, and uh, you know that's still a pretty good card for its time, which it really was. It's amazing. If you guys read the reviews on it, it it's an amazing as card, beautiful, and I'm pretty sure it was overclocked as the factory default, so it's always overclocked, and then you can overclock it even more. But anyway, you get the point of it. Everything else, I have a i7 6700K Skylake processor, the Z170X. G1 gaming motherboard. I have a brand new Toshiba one terabyte hard drive as well as a Samsung DVD player in there. I, I don't know why I added that. I think it was so I could get some drivers downloaded because I couldn't with the old one. I had like a tongue cable on the old DVD drive and that, that's way outdated and way too old for it. So um, honestly, I also have a new CX uh, 750 Corsair uh, power supply so and I think that's really just about it I've as all the new parts oh and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 2500 megahertz uh, Corsair Vengeance black RAM sticks but other than that I mean there were some complications booting it up apparently the first time I went to go put the processor in, I bent the pins so for like a month straight I thought there was something wrong with it and I was still waiting for responses and answers back I had to get all these new parts I kept upgrading part one part after another after another after another because I thought something was wrong with the other ones then I take out the CPU because I was just gonna really undo everything I did and then I checked and I was like oh well the bent the pins are bent so we went out got it and it took me like one hour to go to Micro Center, get the new parts, and um, basically just upgrade it and do what I needed to do and get everything done and figured out now. So now, honestly, uh, now that I have everything figured out, now I can actually finally upload. Because the reason I left is because I actually had to do some stuff with uh, as to like upgrading my PC. Because like I said, I'd rather upload quality over quantity. Because quantity really, like Phase Rain said, it really doesn't mean anything. I also said that I would upload more CSGO content, which I will be doing. I'll make a separate video for Call of Duty and what's wrong with it and why I fucking hate it. But it's a pretty shit game at this point, it really is. I'm going to give Infinite Warfare a shot. I'm going to give every single Call of Duty a shot. If Infinite Warfare is bad, then I'm not going to play it. But I'll Otherwise, I mean, look at I, I compare Infinite Warfare to Black Ops 2. When I saw that trailer, I thought it was going to be super futuristic and super shitty because it just, you know, I thought it'd be so complex. I mean, the MMS, if you guys remember the MMS scope, <laughs> tripped up on my words, but remember that thing, you know, the one you could supposedly see through the walls? In the trailer, they made it look like you could see right through the walls wherever you aimed in. And then in the game, it was nothing like that. There had to be like a door open for you to see through it. So it was pretty, you know, and it's nothing like we thought. We thought the dragon fire, you know, it just looked like with squirrel suits in the campaign. Like, you know, same with ghosts where you had to go into space and it was just for the campaign and underwater that's probably what's going to be i think this game is just going to be like black ops 2 to be honest i think that's exactly what infinite warfare is going to go for i don't think call of duty isn't listening to its fans i think it's just honestly they have this three-year cycle
And I think once they do that three-year cycle, you know, you can't just stop up and go all production just because everyone hated it. Advanced Warfare, you know, Black Ops 3 was already in the process of being made halfway through Infinite, I mean, Advanced Warfare. And by the time in, a, Advanced Warfare was basically three quarters of the done with the game, everyone decided they don't like jetpacks. And by then, Black Ops 3 had already been made. And by then, they were already starting to make Infinite Warfare. So at that point, you know, I can definitely say after Infinite Warfare, we're not getting jetpacks anymore again. I mean, we really aren't getting jetpacks. I mean, I think we're going to go back into the past and go play World War II two games again because like i said you know jetpacks already over the infinite warfare was like all right we gotta stop with that but the next game definitely will be in the present or in the past for sure because they they're not just gonna open by not listen you know what i mean but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this comeback video i will be uploading three to five videos a week i will attempt to and try to i will be trying to get some gfx thumbnails back up and going and make my channel look good again and be on that grind anyway hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did make sure to smash that thumbs up button down below subscribe for more content and i will see you guys in the next video peace out guys Bye bye <laughs> Oh,